Thanks so much Hi. for taking the time to chat. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Doing well. You know, just enjoying this lovely summer weather. Well, summer-like weather, I should say. It's not officially <laughs> summer yet, but <laughs> feels yeah. like it. Oh, it sure feels like it here. Uh, I just mowed yesterday and it was like 90 degrees. I was like, all right, summer's here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like there's no in-between. It's just like winter, <laughs> then we jumped right into summer, but I can't yeah. complain. I love the sun. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, well, I wanted to talk to you about this new solo music you have been releasing. Yeah. I'm really digging the first two singles. I uh, appreciate if, that. Yeah, and so the latest one, it finds it all. It finds us all, I should say. <laughs> um, yeah, I really love the vibe and also the, the meaning behind the song as well. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I've been... Um... I've been working on these songs for, uh, gosh, the last, the past little while. I actually had them all uh, written and recorded before the pandemic uh, happened. Um, so it kind of kind of put a whole kind of delay on uh, releasing it. But uh, plus I just, you know, I guess I could have put it out during the quarantine and all that. But I just was like, you know what? I don't want to, I don't even want uh, the year 2020 being attached to it. I just want to just skip this year. Let's, uh, it's a mulligan and uh, let's just uh, move past it. So, yeah. Yeah. I feel like everyone was considering 2020 to be cursed. So they just wanted to avoid anything that year. <laughs> yeah. It really was just, uh, it was crazy. You know, it was just, uh, for a while there, it was just nothing but bad news every day on the news. And, uh, so and and you know that's another thing. I just um, I, I'm I'm hoping that uh, my music and, and songs and everything. Uh, I've I've always wanted to try and be an escape from all that kind of stuff, all the politics and all the noise and all the stuff. You know, I just uh, it's just too much. So I want to bring a little bit of uh, a little bit of lightness. Uh, you know, so. No, oh, I appreciate that because it feels like you can't really escape it anywhere. It's like you look on social media there's always negative stuff so uh, yeah music is yeah. like the one way we can escape <laughs> yeah that and and movies i've i've watched yeah <laughs> i've watched a lot of movies over the last year and a half so i know i've been kind of turning to netflix too just to <laughs> kill time during this pandemic i feel like i've gone through all the good stuff I know. I, I have have this joke. I'm I'm always saying like I feel like I finished Netflix. You know, <laughs> I've watched so much stuff on there. I know. It's like I guess I need to turn to like Hulu and what's the other one? Disney Plus or whatever, whatever else is oh, out yeah. there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The whole there's a whole new world on all the all the other ones. So you just start fresh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I just I was binge watching Cobra Kai. Have you seen that yet? Oh yeah, I watched that one. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty cool because it has like all that '80s music in there that I love. Oh, me too. I'm a I'm a I'm a child of the '80s. I was I was born in 1980, so I uh, I love all that stuff. And uh, yeah, it's cool. I thought they did a good job on that show. You know, um, it's funny. It's like you think that that uh, you know, uh, gosh, what's uh, what's the what's the the bad guy's name? Blonde hair. His name's oh, William yeah. in real life, but. Uh, you know, you're always thinking like he's always been the bad guy in, uh, you know, in the first Karate Kid. But, you know, I just I'm, I'm rooting on him. I'm like, I like yeah. his character. I'm like, you know, he's so close to just kind of, you know, turning things around. And uh, so it's pretty cool. I think it's yeah, a really kind of became uh, the protagonist instead of the antagonist from the movie. Totally. I thought that was a cool twist on it. But uh, but anyway, I'm, here we are talking about co um, cover. <laughs> Would you ever want to like do a a soundtrack for a movie or? Oh yeah, I would. I would love to. I would love to. I feel like uh, you know, music is so important uh, to just you know making the imagery just speak even more uh, to to the to the audience. You know, um, I'm a huge fan of Hans Zimmer and and the things that he's done with with some of those Christopher Nolan movies. Um, got Inter Interstellar. Like that movie just really, it's an amazing movie, an amazing director, but man, what he did with the, the score and the music, it just, it just took it to a whole new, just, you know, universe. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> yeah. And even with video games, it seems like a lot of musicians are contributing to uh, these new video games that are coming out and 
they're like so lifelike almost. Yeah, it's super cool. I, I'd like to get into it. Um, it's it's not really my my skill set, I would say. I, I feel like I'm I'm more uh, you know, singer, songwriter, songwriting kind of style, you know, and not so much just just the music alone, but uh it'd be it'd be fun to uh you know learn more and get into it a little bit. Yeah, because uh, I know it kind of goes with the the song meaning of it finds us all is you know, accomplishing everything you want to in life, not having regrets. So is there anything that's kind of like on your bucket list right now? Uh, right now, uh, just getting out and playing shows and, and uh, you know, getting out there and, and interacting with the fans and, and uh, you know, just having a career again. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think that's really, uh, you know, and, and, and safely, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we're, we're not out of the woods yet, but yeah, uh, things are, things are really uh, starting to pick up. I've, I've been watching all the bands announce tours and I've been seeing festivals announced and yeah, it's so exciting. It's, it's so exciting. I'm just like, Oh, I can't believe it's happening. So it's, <laughs> it's great. Yeah. So you guys are, well, with Breaking Benjamin, it's the Blue Ridge Rock Festival. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just announced um, we're, we're playing uh, Thursday, September 9th. And uh, there's so many great bands on on the, the whole weekend, the whole festival. So it's really going to be awesome uh, to get out there and uh, and play. Uh, hopefully I can remember how to play my parts. So <laughs> it should be fun. Um, yeah, that's really exciting. I'm just hoping that... The festivals can find, like you said, a safe way to allow all these people together. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, you know, it's 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 cool, but um, you know, we'll see. I, I think I think lots of people are are really just stoked to just get out there and see live music, and as are we. We're we're so excited. We're we're over the moon to uh, to be able to play. So, uh, but yeah, safety safety first, of course. Yeah, it's a turning point. So that's that's really good and. So the new album, your new album, will be out in August. Is that correct? August thirteenth. Yeah, August thirteenth, uh, Friday the thirteenth. Um, yeah, I'm I'm super excited to finally uh, start getting some of these songs out. Uh, like I said, uh, they've kind of been on my computer for <laughs> a long time. Uh, so yeah, I'm 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 stoked to um, have people hear them and listen to them and and hear their feedback. And uh, although it's it's very nerve wracking because it's such a I'm so close to it, you know, it's, it's, it's my, it's my heart and soul and you're putting this out, uh, into the world to, <laughs> to be critiqued and, um, but you know, you just got to put it out there and just let it go and say, you, this was a, this was a chapter of my life for better, or for worse, here it goes. And, and, uh, and just work on the next, the next song or album and, and, uh, you know, be at peace with it. But I'm very, I'm very proud of it. I've had, I had some really, really good friends and really talented, uh, people that uh, were a part of the album, um, Aaron Brooke, uh, the bass player for Breaking Benjamin, he played played the bass uh, on, uh, on on almost all the songs, and he just did an amazing job. And and my producer Joe Rickard, he he played all the drums, and both of them are so amazingly talented. And uh, so it just it makes me look good. So <laughs> I'm very <laughs> very uh, thankful to both of them for uh, lending their uh, incredible talents. Yeah, and judging by the first two singles, I think you chose the right people to be a part of it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, it's uh, it's cool. It's 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 funny. It's like hard to it's hard to pick um, what songs to put out there, you know, because my my previous releases and songs they they've kind of been um, kind of a little bit more alternative and and kind of more subdued and piano stuff. Yeah, I was but... yeah I was listening to um, Allies and I'm like, oh, it's more like you know soft melancholy melancholic i guess the right word yeah would be. um yeah. yeah and then listening to these two singles i'm like oh he picked it up and made it more rock <laughs> yeah i mean I've, I've i've been a rock musician my whole career i mean over 20 years and uh i think those earlier songs were were kind of a departure from what i've been doing and so this is kind of back to what I, i'm i'm used to more uh more of a rock sound but uh, yeah, it's funny you say the, the melancholy. I feel like a lot of these songs are still uh, melancholy. I, it just lives inside of me. I feel like I've just <laughs> I've got, I'm, I'm, I'm emo <laughs> to the core. Emo, yeah. Like. <laughs> well, yeah, looking at the track listing, um, the song titles are very captivating, like Warfare, 
Wildfire, Twilight. I really like it. So I'm kind of curious to find out what they sound like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for you to hear. Yeah. Um, it, those, uh, ah, gosh, I, um, let's see, Warfare. I wrote that one a couple years ago. And um, yeah, it's funny. My, my friend, I was talking to a good friend on the phone. And he was like, I would have, I would have put out warfare next, man. That song's great. And I'm just like, ah, oh, I know. So it's hard to decide because they're, they're, <laughs> they're my babies. You know, you don't, yeah. you, you want them all to get, uh, attention. you know, do, do justice and do attention and everything, but you know, soon enough, soon enough, they'll, they'll all be out. Yeah. Cause it seems like, um, at least a lot of people that I've talked to are saying, oh, we're going the singles route where we're just gonna release a bunch of singles. Yeah. And then, you know, when it's time, when we feel right, we're going to release the album. So I don't know. Yeah. It, it, it's hard to tell what to do these days. <laughs> it, re it really is. It, it really is. You know, um, you know, for the past few years, I've kind of just released a, a single here and there. And and uh, and that was that was super fun. But I, I, I kept on seeing comments. I was like, you know, when are you going to do an album? When are you going to? And I was like, man, that's a good question. I need to just, uh, you know, start you know, stockpiling some of these ideas and fine tuning them and, and, uh, you know, put them together and release them as an album. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, the album comes out August 13th, but between, uh, now and then, uh, there's going to be three more, uh, tracks released. Uh, so yeah, so something, something to, uh, watch out for. I think there's going to be another song coming out in a month um and then a month after that another song and then i think maybe two weeks after that another song and then it's called a waterfall release i'm just i'm trying to, <laughs> i'm trying to play the game to do it right so yeah i like that <laughs> yeah it should be cool yeah so this world or the next that's a cool title um and it's available for pre-order right it is uh you know i've i've been seeing some stuff online where people are having a hard time finding it and right now I, we can't seem to find it on spotify to pre-save the album uh but apple music uh I, I believe it's on there to to add the album but the album cover is also being used as the cover for it finds us all because it's, i guess sometimes you do that it'll be the album cover and when you lease tracks release tracks there's not an individual cover for it it's just the album cover so I think there's it's it's kind of confusing, but uh, but yeah, you can pre-save it there on Apple Music, and hopefully Spotify will will get it together and be able to pre-save there as well. But uh, and I'm also working on uh, having some vinyls. Oh, nice. uh, it, it it's uh, I've never had I've never done this before, so uh, as soon as I get that up, we'll be able to uh, pre-order vinyls. But the bad news about that is that apparently. Uh, on all on all across the board on all the vinyl companies there's like this huge backlog back order it's taking forever yeah. I mean, it takes like six months to have your vinyls ready so it's gonna be a while but they're coming uh yeah just yeah i know I, so I, many uh, people have been running into that issue <laughs> yeah so hopefully by christmas or maybe hopefully january or something the That's vinyl a good christmas it, gift <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. A so, good present. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, I'm so impatient though. I'm like, come on. <laughs> no, that's cool. Yeah, vinyl is coming back. Every time I go to the record shops around here, I see a younger and younger crowd. So, yeah, it's cool. Interesting. I, I love it. I love seeing it. You know, um, you know, they sound so great. Yeah. And, uh, and it's just, it's just cool having, having, uh, you know, just that the big just album cover it just looks cool so yeah i i'm still a fan of uh you know physical copies of music yeah. i just miss those days of just going to um a music shop and just browsing through the endless aisles you know yeah <laughs> hopefully they'll come back one day <laughs> yeah yeah hopefully although who knows you know it's everything changes so much you know who knows what we'll be listening to 10 years from now might know, be different. Right? <laughs> <laughs> might just As have I, an implant. We have an implant in our head and it'll just plug that's in. That's what I was the... thinking. Like something out of <laughs> Black Mirror, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, time will tell. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Well, I wanted to um, ask you, as a guitarist, um, I'm a big fan of melodic guitar riffs and 
memorable yeah. emotional guitar solos. So I was wondering as a guitarist, what are some of your favorite um, guitar riffs or solos that come to mind? Where you listen to it and you're like, oh man, I wish I wrote this. <laughs> oh man, uh, you know, I don't know if it's really a, a, a riff per se, but um, so you're, you're familiar with Architects? Yes, I, Architects? yeah, a friend introduced me to their music. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of uh, new to the new to the the band as well, and um, yeah, their their song "Animals" when the bridge comes in and it's just like da 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 da, I I just lose it. I'm just like God, that's so sick, and I'm, <laughs> I'm like, man, I wish I came up with that. But it's so simple, you know, just just one note, just you know, rocking out. Uh, so, and it sounds so good. The production on that album is so great. So. I'm a, I'm a definite fan of them. Um, also, Gojira, they have some really cool guitar stuff uh, that I just I just love. And uh, and it always sounds so great. You know, they, they got their production dialed. Um, so I guess that's kind of some of the, the newer bands that uh, that I've kind of been into recently. But um, as far as riffs and old school stuff, I mean, I've, I've always been a huge fan of Metallica um you know the the riffs are great the just you know all of it is really good and some really really great solos in there too that that kirk does and i mean even james too i i like some of the solos that james does uh hatfield yeah like i know him like i'm calling by his first name <laughs> <laughs> yeah me and james yeah uh but uh but no, it's uh, there's there's just really some great music. Um, Allison Chains, uh, oh, Jerry yeah. Cantrell, some of some just really great solos. Um, yeah, Pearl Jam, they've got some good ones. Soundgarden, I mean, there's so many to name that I'm a fan of uh, that just have really uh, made some amazing music that uh, that I grew up with and I still enjoy now. So, yeah, I just um, I mean, of course, I know Metallica's hit songs but yeah I was kind of diving deeper into their deep cuts I don't know if wherever I may ro is it wherever I may roam is that the title yeah. of it yeah yeah I don't know if that's considered um a deep cut but yeah I heard that one I'm like that riff is really catchy <laughs> yeah I I think that was a single I'm not sure okay. <laughs> um I want to say it was but yeah that was it might a... have been because I think I heard it on the radio so yeah I, Clearly I love... they played the singles <laughs> right yeah, I uh, I loved that one. Uh, when I when I got that album, I wore that song out. I was like, man, this is sick. So, but yeah, that whole album is great. Black album is amazing. Yeah, and of course, Lane Staley from Alice in Chains. You know, like yeah, no one voice. like him. No one like him. Yeah, uh, really, just uh, amazing and just a just an incredible loss. Uh, you know, I just imagine what kind of stuff they'd be putting out now you know it just it would be amazing and and same with Soundgarden you know yeah. I, I, I was happy uh that they kind of got back together for a little bit there and uh but man you know we just had the, the anniversary of, of Chris Cornell's death and it's just it still just doesn't seem real because I just I think about um you know junior high and high school and and, and listening to Super Unknown and 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 Ah, just it's just a terrible loss I, i'm such yeah, a, such a, a huge loss. fan of, of that band and his voice it's just uh one one in a one in a gazillion talent so yeah it kind of makes you wonder like obviously these singers will be legendary generation after generation but someone asked me like is there going to be like a new classic legend you know like someone from today are they going to be considered at that level 50 years from now, you know? Yeah, that's a good question. I just don't know. I, you know, I don't know if it's going to be um, in, in in a rock format, you know, because I, I feel like uh, rock is just not as appreciated as it used to be uh, back in the day. You know, there's there's so many different genres and, and sub-genres now, and, and um, you know, the pop, the most popular ones are, are not rock, unfortunately. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I mean, great, great talents, great musicians uh, all across the board. But uh, yeah, rock just uh, doesn't get the, the same, I don't know, adoration as before. Yeah, I mean, there's some newer bands out there who's kind of leading rock into like the more mainstream, like Greta Van Fleet and um, 
don't know if you've heard of Dirty Honey from California. You know, I've heard of them, but I can't say that I've I've heard them. Maybe I have. I just I uh, couldn't tell you. Yeah, but it it would be nice to see you know rock kind of be back on the charts again, like it used oh, to be. Yeah. I would love it. It would be cool. You know, though, there's there's been a little bit of a of a of an influx of a little bit more of, of a rock vibe with with some musicians like um, it's funny. I did an interview the other day and I was I was talking about her uh, Miley Cyrus. You know, she. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel, I feel like her album that she put out, uh, you know, a, a little bit. Uh, I guess it's been a few months or something. But, uh, you know, it has a real rock vibe to it, um, you know completely polished and you know it's kind of it's got the you know the pop-esque uh production here and yeah, there kind of like a Joan Jett type thing or yeah it's it's cool you know and and I feel like that was kind of a risk you know it's uh you know more rock uh infused which uh, I'm a fan of and 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 some other some other people there's like this real big kind of pop punk thing happening too with the uh, uh, Machine Gun Kelly and yeah, other, yeah. things like that. So it's like a little bit more rock that's coming in there. So I'm, I'm happy to see that. Yeah. So yeah, you never know with the music industry. <laughs> you don't, you never know. I mean, and I feel like it's, um, you know, with Spotify and all these, uh, I don't know, apps, you know, yeah, it's so saturated. Like so many people are just putting out music. So it's, very true. You kind of listen to whatever you want to. There's and like you said, there's so many genres being created. So yeah, it, it, it's so much stuff coming out every day. Uh, so that's that's why if if anyone has even you know heard my songs or heard my music in in the the storm of all the releases, I'm super, <laughs> I'm super grateful. So it's a lot. It's a lot to, to compete with for sure. No, I'm sure plenty of people are going to hear your music. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Um, are there any other shows that are going to be coming up before the festival? Uh, as of right now, I don't believe so. Um, yeah, we're just uh, we're just kind of hanging out. Um, you know, we uh, I get asked a lot if we're if you know Breaking Ben's working on new music and. I always say the same thing, and and um, and it's 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 really the case. We we always work on new music in between tours. We're always, um, you know, working on some ideas and and sending it back and forth and stuff. So it's always kind of a work in progress. But uh, yeah, but yeah, we're we're excited to get back on the road in, in in any capacity. If it's you know a tour or one show or whatever, whatever uh, you know comes down the pike, you know we'll uh, um, you know consider so. It's yeah, cool. and are you hoping to um, perform music from your solo album as well? I would like to, um, you know, schedule permitting, of course. That's always kind of been uh, uh, one of the, you know, uh, determining factors with uh, me doing any solo touring uh, is is if the band, if it's conducive with the scheduling, um, which is great. You know, it's a, it's a good problem to have. I'm definitely not yeah. complaining. It's, it's awesome. Uh I just I want to I want to make music and, and and perform it. So I think if there's some time, I would definitely like to uh, uh, do some some solo touring at some point. So absolutely, that would that would be awesome to see you in the Boston area. Ah, I would love that. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Yeah, I have no idea when live music is going to open up in Boston. We're kind of like one of the stricter states. <laughs> oh, gotcha. So that's where you are? You're in Boston? Right, yeah, Boston. Yep. Okay. You uh, are, uh, are you a Red Sox fan or Boston Bruins fan or sports fan in general? Um, you know, I, I, I support them. I wouldn't say I'm like a hardcore fan like a lot of people are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all good. Like, whatever... Sometimes I was like, oh, I hope they don't win this year because of all the festivals and parades that happen. And oh, gosh, it's okay. just hard so to get anywhere. <laughs> all right. So then you're definitely not a fan if you're wishing for them <laughs> not to win. <laughs> no, I, I support them, but. Yeah. I know. What about you? Are you a big sports fan? Uh, so I, I'm, you know, I live in Tennessee. I, I went to um, University of Tennessee, so I'm a huge Tennessee Volunteers fan, uh, which has been just so tough over the last 
I don't know, 10 years or something. They haven't been that great, but I still, I still root for them die hard. So. Yeah. Cause I'm trying to think. So Tennessee has the Titans and yeah, Tennessee is it the has National Titans. Predators or something. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And I'd say I'm a Titans fan too. You know, it's the closest NFL team and I like, I like their coach and, and some of the players. So yeah. Huh. Yeah, I went to Nashville um, two years ago. It's 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 a cool city. I'm hoping to get back there. Yeah, it's uh, it's cool. It's a lot different than it used to be. Um, a lot of people have have uh, moved to Nashville, and it's it's kind of uh, just it's kind of changed. Um, That's why here, like a yeah. lot of, because um, here we have Berkeley College of Music, uh-huh. and um, I think a lot of students are once they graduate. They're moving to Nashville instead of LA and New York. It seems like Nashville is wow. like the new go-to city. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be for the time being. Um, but uh, you know, it's all good. Who, who knows? It, it may stay like that. It may it may turn into some other city at some point. <laughs> it's, all, it's all changing. As long as it's for the good. <laughs> exactly. Well, Keith, I really appreciate your time chatting. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me.